I've been trying to order for 10 minutes. I got ignored out there at the drive-thru. I'm recording all this. This is going to corporate. I spent 10 minutes at the drive-thru and I've been standing here for 5 minutes. Nobody's getting even acknowledged. You walk by, you didn't even say, I'm busy, I'll be with you in a minute. Guys, sometimes the customer actually isn't always right. And why is that? Because that employee literally told you that she would get to you when she could because their establishment is understaffed. And then you, the dumbass behind the camera, have the nerve to say that she never said that she'd be with you in a minute. When that's exactly what she said in the kindest tone imaginable. Are you an idiot? Guys, I am sick and tired of these Karens recording themselves screaming at these poor fast food workers who are just trying to make a living and then uploading it to TikTok with their chests puffed out and all on their high horse thinking that they're in the right when they're just exposing themselves to be complete wastes of space. But before I continue showing you guys how absolutely ridiculous these people are, because trust me, the list just goes on. I first want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Galaxy Lamps. So let's talk about something cool today. Have you ever wanted to take the night sky and put it in your room? Because I have. Well, with the Galaxy Projector, you can do just that. If you've been thinking of adding a little something special to your personal space, then this is exactly the kind of lighting you need. It will transform any room into a planetarium and it will give your room a truly unique and special feel. But not only that, it's also a smart device. So let's take a look at some of its features. First off, it's RGB colors, brightness, rotation speed, on and off timers, and many more are fully customizable. And all you have to do is grab your phone because with its app, you can change everything and make it truly yours. Look at that. You love using the Amazon Alexa or the Google Assistant? Well, the Galaxy Projector is on your team. All you need to do is just say the word and it obeys. From switching on to changing modes. And guess what? It's energy efficient too. You can enjoy your very own personal galaxy without having to worry about your energy bill skyrocketing. For those who appreciate good tech, this is for you. The Galaxy Projector is a modern gadget with timeless appeal. So get your very own Galaxy Projector by using the link at the very top of the description and use my discount code that's currently shown on screen right now to get 15% off of your first Galaxy Projector. Thank you so much to Galaxy Lamps for sponsoring the video and let's get back to it. Is that like regularly going off all the time, that buzzer? Sorry? That buzzer? Yeah. Is that always going off? Yeah. You guys, can you guys take care of that? No, instead she walks towards me. I'll have an extra large coffee double-double, please. The alarm. Does that not irritate you? Do you work with that? That's crazy. She's just standing there instead of taking care of it. It's insane. Hey, so, a uh, quick question. Is this your first time visiting planet Earth, you alien? That is a f***ing McDonald's. You will never go to a single McDonald's in this entire dimension that isn't making that beeping sound. If you're an adult, you should know that. And for you to stand there and say, <laughs> does that alarm not irritate you? Is absolutely crazy because yeah, it probably does irritate them, but they had to get used to that noise because that is their job. They can't just sit around all day and whine about it like you or they'd be out of employment. So one extra large coffee. And a banana chocolate muffin, please. We don't have banana chocolate. Okay, fine. But blueberry muffin, please. Okay. My god. So your extra large coffee is black? Or like you guys understand that it's really irritating to stand, to be forced to stand, or want to stand, to get my coffee, right? And just be, be, yeah, be. Do you understand that's annoying? Yeah, we know that. But you're just standing there. It's a, I found it's that unbelievable. Thank you very much for taking care of it. Okay, okay That'll so be your everything. coffee is black? Oh, you're being forced to stand there and listen to that, are you? Oh, my bad. Is there somebody behind the camera who is holding you at gunpoint and forcing you to order for them? Are you a hostage? You don't have to stand there and listen to that dumbass. You're choosing to do that. Hello, we're close until 4.30. This is your staff. 
Your sign says you're open 24 hours. Correct, but when I have no staff, I don't have anybody to make the food. You can't make any food? No, sir. Would you like me to come in and help you? No, thank you. You know, I have to go to work now and I don't have any food. What the hell do you mean you don't have any food? You just came from home and you're gonna try and tell me that you didn't have a box of goddamn cereal in your pantry? You don't have a loaf of bread, but you got that McDonald's money though, right? <laughs> when I go to work, they expect me to work. This, this is intolerable. No, I am working. We're cleaning the store. It's just me. I'm cleaning the whole store by myself. Marika. Nobody wants to work. Unbelievable. Do you notice how fast that man just shut his mouth? He knew he had nothing to say back to that. It's an understaffed location. She's the only employee there who is currently running the joint. And she actually doesn't have the time to cook your food because she has to clean an entire store by herself in an hour to get the place ready for breakfast. And yet you still had the goal to say, oh, oh, Marka, nobody wants to work anymore. Then please explain to me, what the hell is she doing? You haven't even clocked in yet, fam. Last time I came here, my fries were cold. Could you make sure the fries are hot? Fries hot? Yeah. Uh, you need a hot fries? Yes, sir. Don't want them cold again. And I ain't pulling up. <laughs> and I ain't pulling up? What? So you're gonna hold up an entire line of people behind you because your lazy ass can't slightly push your foot on the gas for two seconds? If you want your fries hot and fresh, you need to give the fries time to cook. What's not clicking? And while your fries are cooking, they actually need to serve other people than you. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? You're not the only person in the world. Uh, please move uh, no. front door. No. I'll wait here just like the last guy did. Hot uh, fries is two minutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How come the other guy didn't move up? They're not hot. Uh, They're barely warm. Give me hot fries, please. Okay. Uh, hot fries, please. Okay. I need to move the over there front row. The hot fries. Two minutes. Just pull up. Give me nope. the damn fries. I'll go home and heat them up. I'm getting a letter. I don't want cold. You're swearing all up in your car and raising your blood pressure over some McDonald's fries and for what? If you didn't want cold fries that bad, then you should have just taken his advice to begin with. So that's your fault. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, please. Uh, why was the reasoning why you won't we give me a pup we're, cup? We're not about to do cup, pup cups. Yes, you are. I come here two, three times a week, every week, and get a pup cup. Every time we're I come here. We're not supposed to do pup cups. If they're doing it, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Do you not understand? It's just a little cup of whipped cream. So I need to do leave, please. Why won't you give me a pup cup? Because we do not do pup cups at this establishment. Bullshit. I came here yesterday and got a pup cup. Somebody hand me the phone, please. Call the police. She's calling the police because I want a pup cup. Let's see what the police have to say because a, a person wants a pup cup. Seriously, you're calling the police because someone wants a pup cup. That's absolutely <laughs> absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what's actually absurd? You want to know what's actually ridiculous? Making the people behind you wait to the point of honking at you over a tiny cup of whipped cream for your dog. Firstly, if they do it at Starbucks and you know that you are guaranteed a pup cup every single time you ask for it at Starbucks, then why the hell are you at McDonald's asking for something you know that's not on their menu? That's like if I went to Subway and demanded they give me a popcorn chicken from KFC. But secondly, and most importantly, why the hell are you giving your dog whipped cream that many times a week? It's supposed to be a treat. It's literally advised that you only give it to your dog on a day 
day, such as their birthday, as it can cause stomach issues later on if consumed in excess. No. All you have to do is put some goddamn whipped cream in a cup and so that my dog can have a pup cup. And I was paying for it. I asked to pay for it. You, you McDonald's people need to start, start, like, come on now. It's a freaking pup cup. So let me get this straight. You were willing to pay for this pup cup, even though they're free at a different location. So if you were willing to pay for a pup cup you know is free at another location, then why not just drive down to the grocery store and use that money to buy an entire can of whipped cream instead? You give it to your dog 12 times a month anyway, so why not just make it easier on yourself, dumbass? Irrigant McDonald's manager right there. Right there. Cassopolis, Michigan. I'm going to corporate with this. Cor McDonald's doesn't support dogs, but you want me to round up to support the freaking kids every time I come here? What the hell? Oh my Run that back for me. Let everybody at the back of the class know what you just said. Oh, so you won't give my dog some whipped cream that he doesn't need, but <laughs> you want me to contribute to the less fortunate and very sick children of the world who would greatly benefit from my contribution. Do you know how absolutely brain dead you sound right now? How is that anywhere near the same level of importance? It's a little bit of whipped cream in a cup and I'm paying for it. It's a pup cup. Quit being so stubborn. Just give me a freaking pup cup. This could all be averted with a little bit of whipped cream in a cup for my dog. This is why America's going to sh people like you. Tell me I can't get a pup cup. Wait till you lose your job when I send this to corporate. I think America has several bigger fish to fry than your dog not getting a lick of whipped cream, but hey. I'm from Australia, what would I know? I want to let you know that because these sauces weren't in the bag, my son's dinner was ruined. All right, he doesn't want to eat no dry chicken and he uses it for his Number french fries. Okay, <laughs> am I cursing at you or disrespecting you? Yeah, you did disrespect no, me, did actually. Not. No, I did not. Maybe I not right this word. second, maybe not right this okay, second, so but on the phone with me last night, you did. No, I did not. In your opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finest example of a person with no life whatsoever because you're gonna tell me that not only did you call this Burger King the night before but now you've driven to the actual store in person the very next day to complain about the exact same problem a job may be necessary I fear your life has got to be so goddamn boring if you're doing this much over a couple of dipping sauce packets when I pulled up here last night, I looked to whoever the person was in the eye. I said, are all six sauces in there? He kind of looked back and he said, yes. I, and he, no, he was like, what were they? I told him, three barbecue, three sweet and sour. He kind of looked back and then he said, yes. I looked whoever it was directly in the eye. So either that person is incompetent or they are a liar. And I wouldn't want to have you liars working for me. A liar, That's not nice because well, because he That's looked me in my okay. eye and said it's yes. Sauces. It's not like it's uh, your food. Yeah, it it's was sauces. my food. My son didn't eat that food last night. It was ruined. Your son sounds spoiled. Then. He's autistic. Okay, he is Bye. autistic. Why? Because that could be very disrespectful. Yeah. So I don't tell me my don't tell me my son is spoiled. Don't you tell me my son is spoiled? Well, he's a liar. Well, he said yes. All right, don't he said him. yes. How do you know he's he said yes. And you called him a liar. So, yes. okay. so how hard don't is it? Call nobody a name. How hard you're, is you're it to wrong, check your food? Firstly, how was this employee supposed to know that your son has autism? She doesn't know you, man. So why are you screaming at her like this? But secondly, you do know that your son has autism. And you know that he cannot eat his food without sauce. So, A, why is it not already in the house if you know he won't eat his food without it? And B, how hard is it to check your food? Yeah, exactly. How hard is that? Do you know how much 
much hypocrisy is spewing from your mouth right now? It isn't hard to check your food. So why didn't you check your food before leaving the drive-thru? That's on you! I say either he's incompetent or a liar. somebody a, a name. <laughs> so when I was on the phone with you, you didn't apologize once. You should have been you like... You give me a chance to talk. I gave you plenty of no, time to talk. Not. You were just saying it's not right. They didn't put my sauces in. No, you said... And I said, ma'am, you can come tomorrow to pick up the sauces. I no, you said, you. you said, what do you want me to do about it? No, I, I said the sauces no, weren't in the bag. Said, I said to you to come back, and you said, no, you can't do that. So I can't do it right okay, now. So what did you want me to do? I can't that do point? that right now. Okay, so what would you want me to do at that point? She gave you the solution. She told you that you could go to the store and pick up the sauces, you're the one who said no! So what do you want her to do at that point? And how laughable is it for you to say that you want this employee to apologize to your son and then go ahead and say, well, why do I have to mention my son? When the employee says that she didn't even know that you had a son. Yeah, what do you want me to okay. do about it? You should have been like, you know what, ma'am? I'm sorry that your and food, son's food sorry. is ruined. No, you, you didn't did say sorry. Your son's food was ruined. You did, yeah. you did not say that. You yesterday. should say, ma'am, I'm sorry your son's food was you ruined. What would you like me? For your son. You didn't even mention your son yesterday. Why do I have to mention anything? Okay, so I told you you could come back for your sauces. You're supposed to say, how can I make it Man, right? How can I, stay your how can I make it right? Oh, and you Maybe your line wouldn't be held up if you did your job correct the first time. No, I'm not going to go. I'm going to call an officer on you. Okay, you do that. You do that. Let me see. No, they're getting your order wrong. You have to wait. Next time, do your job correctly. You are ruining people's meals. You're ruining people's meals. I don't got time for this. to say that you don't have the time to be doing this. Really? Because it seems to me like you have all the time in the world. You called this exact same person the previous night to complain about the exact same thing. You forgot my son's sauces. I forgot your son's sauces? Yep. Uh, what's your name? I'll write your name down and I'll give it to my boss. No, because uh, we already went through this. Okay, well you never gave your name last time. Um, that's okay, you don't need my name, I need your name. Oh, you don't need my name either. Yes, I do. I'm not ever coming my job harassing. I'm not harassing you, I need your name you for corporate purposes. We got you on camera, we got you on camera throwing coffee at the window. Yes, we got everything on camera. Okay, good, okay, and it was coffee okay, and okay. it was cleaned up. Yeah, no it wasn't, you didn't clean it. So, you're mad that they forgot to give you six packets of dipping sauce that they were willing to compensate you for, but you're allowed to throw an entire cup of coffee at their window and force them to take time out of their shift to clean it up. And that's okay! That's allowed! So nobody's gonna come to the register? Where's your manager? I am. Okay, and so you're gonna ignore me as a customer trying to purchase some fries because you won't replace these fries because you messed up on my burger? I would not recommend you record. I don't care what you recommend. I'm going to record because that's my right and this is how you guys treat customers. You want to be respected by being served by the manager and having your fries replaced. But when she wants the same respect from you by asking to not be recorded, you say you don't care! So then tell me, right now, why the hell should she give a damn about your meal? So, are you gonna deny me from trying to get some fries because you guys messed up on my burgers and you guys don't want to replace these cold ones? Because I brought them back, you don't want to replace them and you don't want to ring me up for new ones because I'm trying to purchase new ones. Um. You come in every single day complaining that some You guys get something wrong, so Yes, but our fries let's were let's fresh. let's sh well, okay, the fries the were fries fresh, were but the burger was wrong. I have to record for them to get something right and for them to do what they're supposed to do. It's unbelievable. 
She goes in there every day. What did I say? These people have nothing better to do. So let's do the math here. Your burger was messed up, which somehow made the fries cold. How the hell does that make any sense? Wait, but I realized wasn't no peanut butter in it. That I can't get my money back. You ate more than half of it. Right, but it's a big cup. I ordered large. Last time I got it, it was a medium. And it had peanut butter in it. But what does that, that has nothing to do with us. Regardless, you ate majority of But it's a Reese's peanut cup. butter. And there are Reese's peanut butter pieces inside. It just tastes like ice cream and Reese's cup. That's all it tastes like. That's all it is. It's a McFlurry with Reese's cup. This man wants a refund when he's already halfway through the drink. How do you only taste that something is missing from your drink when you've already consumed a majority of what's inside the cup? It just tastes like ice cream and Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, so exactly what you ordered. Y'all ate it. It's nothing we can, like, I don't understand what you want us to do to give you your money back if you ate more than half of it. It's not like it's all the way up here to the top. I'm looking inside of the cup to see that it's half, it's half one. Right. Right. Uh, I'm looking in this cup and I can see that more than half the drink is gone, sir. Right. Right. Man, what is this conversation? So, yeah, and I can't get... What's your phone up for? What is that? I'm recording you. Why are you I'm... recording? Because... Because what? I would like my money back. May I have that back since I paid for it? You want this back? Yeah, I looked at it and everything. This dude doesn't even know why he's recording. He's struggling to come up with an answer. He's doing it for no reason. But secondly, you wanted the drink anyways. What was the point in trying to get a refund if you wanted to finish the drink anyways? So this whole interaction was just a complete waste of time for both parties and it literally could have been avoided entirely. But I'm gonna send you guys off with arguably the worst recording from this entire video and that, that is, that's a big accomplishment, okay? Cause look at your competitors. This is my second time back. This is what they gave me, I knew it wasn't right. This is supposedly a mocha cappuccino. Disgusting. Probably wasted about an hour now at this point. Manager didn't even offer me a refund. Babe, look at your console and your car. That is filthy. Get that cleaned up before you start calling other things disgusting, yeah? Here, I got a gift card. Okay, I just wanna show you. Yeah. This is, and I'm videotaping this because it's disgusting. Yeah. Literally, yeah, so. street chocolate. Like that's, you yeah, can see it, it's disgusting. That's not a mocha cup. Like really, it's stuck at the bottom of the cup. You don't see that? Yeah, that's how you want. You didn't want mocha in it? A mocha cappuccino is not that. Okay. Is it a fra you want a frappuccino? No. I wanted a mocha cappuccino. I do want a frappuccino now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, yeah. I know I can yeah, taste yeah. that right right while I'm here and yeah, not have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah, I got you. Here's your, this is a $10 gift card. Right. And then would you want a mocha frappuccino? Uh, yeah. Like and I want my money back. Yeah, yeah. So, you're gonna sit there and make this person give you your money back and give you a gift card and then you're gonna say, um, actually, I don't want that drink remade now. Now I want a frappuccino. The entitlement is off the charts! So is this $10 for my experience and my gas, or? Yeah, yeah. And then this is okay. I'm gonna refund you for this right here. You do realize I've probably spent an hour right now. I know, I'm very sorry. All right. You seem really sorry. Alright, this is gonna put the money back onto your card. Do you have your Starbucks card? I paid cash. Oh, you paid cash? Okay. Of course, I didn't see it, but I was gonna give you Okay, and your name? I'm Kevin. Okay, and I am going to be contacting corporate because this is sure. the worst experience I've ever had in my life. Okay, sorry. We'll get you, you everything you need. You're gonna sit there and have the audacity to say that this is the worst experience of your entire life when you've received your money back. You've received a gift card. The employee kindly gave you his name when you asked for it. And the fact that he's willing to make you another drink entirely, despite the fact that you don't deserve it. So tell me, how the fuck is this the worst experience you've ever had when they're doing nothing but being accommodating to you? I'm making your frappuccino. It's coming right out. Is it drawing 
What is a grande? I want medium. You want a medium? What is a grande? I want medium. Have you ever heard of please and thank you? They're all laughing. Oh my god, that doesn't look ready. That, that doesn't look anything like it. Like that that literally says chip on it. Are you guys kidding? <laughs> that doesn't look like a mocha frappuccino. You haven't tasted it. You didn't even give it a chance. Anyways, guys, treat fast food employees with respect and human decency. You only give people negative energy when it's warranted. Mwah. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.